Hello, so we're here with a new video tutorial. In this video, we are going to work with the LMC non disruptive migration. So let's switch to the presentation. What is metro based non disruptive migration? Uh, NTM is designed to help automate the process of migrating hosts and applications to more advanced arrays with zero downtime. Uh, this is the uh, NTM mode where the synchronization will start right after the create completes and the create operation results in the creating NDM session using SRDF Metro internally. And finally, here we have a, a workflow of the Metro NDM. This is how it works. When you perform the create operation, it will create a create in progress. Now, uh, this session will migrate all the data then we'll ensure that the data is synchronized between two sites and whatever you're reading you are going to commit the migration and everything will be finally migrated to the remote site or the destination site i mean so uh, let's go back to the lab let's log in with smc and select all array 0107 in this lesson we are going to migrate a storage group called VM data stores so let's find it here here it is our storage group we have to select it and then click on the options more actions then migrate uh, this is going to be our target system 647 then click on next for the options we have to choose a srp srp1 in the target side is going to be the, the storage resource pool and wait a second so this is for the pre-copy mode that it's not covered on this video and we, we just have to choose enable data reduction then click on next so this is the masking the masking view uh, in this lesson we are not to cover the masking view as this is uh, this is going to be covered later so now we have click on next and this is the review migration so here we have uh, that we are going to uh, migrate this storage group from 0107 to 647 uh, the SRP target is going to be the SRP number one and the option that we just enabled is the enable data reduction um, we are not choosing any particular masking view because this has to be uh, pre-worked by the storage admin that has to ensure um, that information with their OS environment and the OS team to have the correct uh, WWNs in this case uh, but in this case we are just uh, performing the migration that storage group level not the masking view now click on run now and the task is in progress Let's wait a couple of seconds. All right, it just completed. Let's click on OK. So if we scroll down a little bit on the details of this original VM data store storage group uh, I'm looking for masking view here we can see that masking view is one so there is currently one masking view that's associated with this data store so now let's go to data protection then migrations 
and here we are going to find that session so here is our VM data store session it says that migration status is okay we are okay to commit and complete the migrations so whenever you are done with your migration you have to click on commit click on run now and now this is associating the masking view on the target site on the yep, on the migration target site and it will disable the masking view on or original 0107 so let's wait a second till the migration is completed at the storage group level Let's wait a couple of seconds, two more seconds. All right, it was pretty quick. Let's click on OK. And here on the migrations interface, we can see that the session is gone. So it has been completed. And if we go back to our storage group, Let's look for VM data store. Let's select it and find more details. Let's scroll down slowly. Yep, here it is. Here we can see that in the masking view, it's gone. Now it's zero. That's because the migration has been committed and is on, how can I say it's unplugged on logically on the original side and now the masking view is available on the remote side so this is the normal operation of working with MVM with a successful migration being non-disruptive thanks for watching